And Mr. Kassinitz. As I mentioned, uh, my uh, parents uh, came to this neighborhood in 1937 and uh, moved into a building that was directly vis-a-vis -vis the Narodny Budova. And so I had a uh, front row seat on what went on here. Uh, there was a movie theater that was attached to the Narodny Budova. It was on 74th Street. There was a passageway. Uh, to the left of this uh, building that would connect with the, the movie theater. And I spent many a, a Saturday afternoon there under the watchful eye of the matron. Uh, I think the admission was, you know, 25 cents or whatever it was, and you could sit there all day watching, uh, watching films. Uh, this, of course, building was used as a catering facility. And so one would... Uh, often see weddings uh, taking place from the building across the street. And it was um, in, the, in the 50s when I was growing up, uh, it was also a, um, a kind of central a fulcrum for the Czech, Slovak, and Rusin community. And one thing I want to share with you, because it's very, um, very important to me, uh, we would come out onto the stoop of this building every Memorial Day. There was a magnificent parade through the neighborhood of um, veterans of various wars, but always at the head of the parade were the uh, Czech soldiers who fought on behalf of the white armies during the Russian Civil War, the so-called Czechoslovensky Legionary. And every year, there would be three or four, perhaps five, of these individuals. Of course, the, the number would decrease as the years went on. And I would always be mesmerized by their costumes, by their, by their hats, and by the marching songs. So, mi prahu nezdame rade iz borame, iz borame. Rachi iz borame. A song by composer Hostler, I believe. We're not going to give up Prague. We will rather tear it down. And now, uh, as I sit in California at the Hoover Institution, in the archives of the Hoover Institution, uh, last year I came across a magnificent album of photo photography. And the album belonged to General Gaida. Radola Gaida, who was the general who commanded the Czechoslovensky Legione. And it was in his family, documenting the activities of the Legion in Siberia. And uh, I believe that this album is now being scanned and will be available at the Czech um, Embassy in Washington. There will be a d display of this album in commemorating the founding of the Czech uh, Czechoslovak state. Uh, Briefly, just to uh, dovetail with some of the other presentations. Uh, when I was a teenager, I served as a dishwasher uh, in uh, the Czechoslovak restaurant in uh, uh, Czechoslovenska Praha. And one of the uh, memorable things uh, was the guests who would come to this restaurant uh, and we would often peer out of the kitchen to see these distinguished personalities, including Masarek's daughter, who would often be in the company of Walter Cronkite, America's most trusted newsman. They would often come there to eat, as, wa uh, as would many Rusin political personalities who were active in the late 30s, for example, Julian Revai, uh, who uh, was head of uh, uh, Carpatho Ukraine, uh, which was for a brief time independent, uh, and then fell under Hungarian occupation during World War II. So uh, th this was a very memorable time. I also served as a, as a relief dishwasher in some of the other circles. When they had major events, I would often go there on a Saturday to relieve the, uh, the crew. Um, the school, the primary school, was PS82, uh, which some of my colleagues attended as well. It was on 70th and 1st. The principal, who was a very domineering personality, was Czech. 
some of the other teachers or individuals involved with the school were also Czech. Uh, and it was really a remarkable experience in sociology. The first Puerto Rican that I saw in this neighborhood was in PS 82, sometime in the, in the 50s, as I was about to, to graduate PS 82. It was a, as, as you may understand from some of the comments of my colleagues, it was a self-contained world. You could live your entire life within this community, with its religious institutions, with its businesses, with its banks, you could literally go from Dr. Pick, the internist, Czech, to Stolba or Kuchera, any of the undertakers that were here. So one could go the entire arc of one's existence within um, these confines. Um, I'll say more if, if possible later on. Give my floor to yeah. other colleagues. Thank you. Okay, I, I can desist of the Jupaida unless you really want to do it. And Jupaida, Jupaida, ya te mamrada. Jupaida, Jupaida, ya te miluyo.